All right, guys, back for a quick video. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Um, it is December 31st. We are going into the new year, um, and I still haven't gotten the birds together. Oh God, time, time is a killer nowadays. I just can't seem to find enough of it. But I do have a few minutes um, today to clean out the, the cock section, the breeding section. Uh, the hens are moved over. Uh, the hens loft is empty. I won't be using that at all this year. I'll be moving the hens into the breeding section here shortly. And the remaining hens will be in this main section right here. Um, I want to keep everything in this main loft. Uh, makes uh, running extension cords, uh, heaters, things of that nature much simpler than to have to run to both lofts. Um, it just makes things simpler. But before I take you guys inside, I'm just pre-warning you, um, I have not done anything, and I mean nothing, since uh, racing has started with the cock section, so it's going to be a little bit uh, chaotic and messy in there. Um, so just showing you guys before I start, today's plan is to basically clean everything out and then possibly get the birds going today. So just pre-warning you guys, it's messy in here. Um, let's get in here, run these guys out. You guys can see I have not done anything, nothing since racing started. Um, for the most part, the floors are still plenty of space underneath, uh, with the exception of the stalactites that are growing underneath the perches here. Again, another reason why perches kind of suck in areas like this, uh, the droppings start to accumulate and then they just start to build up. Under all of that, there's space, but because they start to accumulate on top, um, it just doesn't go down far enough. Uh, to make a big difference so just showing you guys what I'm starting with hopefully in the next uh, half hour 40 minutes I'll have everything cleaned out uh, and potentially get some breeders going today so we'll see you guys here shortly All right, guys, we are all cleaned up. Um, that roughly took about a half hour or so. Um, very limited scraping. You guys notice I did scrape the nest boxes. That's about the heaviest of uh, any of the mess in here. Everything underneath the floors were super loose. It came right up. I had no scraping at all. Um, I did remove the perches as per usual. I'll take the perches down. Uh, for the first couple weeks as the pairs get mated up i don't want hens running away and finding solitude on the perches i want the cocks to pick their box i want them to maintain their box before i bring the hens in so today i'll pay a bit more attention to which cock is going to which box so i don't cause fighting um, i should have about 11 cock birds in here going forward for the season um that should be it for those of you wondering yes i do use old feed bags i save all my feed bags and i use them for trash bags when it's time to clean um, we did get 10 total bags guys you guys can see them stacked here uh, two of which were basically loaded with majority was grain uh, right dead center where the feeder stays all the grain that falls over starts to accumulate underneath and you guys see i probably have uh roughly 60 pounds of grain in there i'm going to throw that down in the valley so the chickens can get after it uh the wild birds can get after it i don't want it to go to waste um it's just it's too heavy for the pigeons to go to reuse for birds but there's so much grain in there so much corn so much everything um, i don't want to necessarily go, let it go to waste so eight bags of trash two bags of access feed i guess you'd call it and uh, that was that section and that was last cleaned probably about the same time the year before so in one year's time i've cleaned it one time uh, for me the raised floors work 
um, again virtually no scraping apart from the nest boxes and as the next nest boxes build up i just remove the heavy stuff uh, but as for the floors they give me about a good season uh, before i have to do anything and everything was super dry easy to pick up um, again it works for me guys it might not work for everyone it works for me i'm going to uh get these things all picked up and put in the trash can and uh, we are set for the day again didn't take too long guys but finding that time to even do it um seems impossible nowadays um, and moving forward i think plans will be changing pretty drastically uh, maybe we'll cover that in a different video uh today was short and sweet i may add the ends uh, within a couple hours here i'm gonna let the cocks settle in everything's brand new and uh, we'll go from there guys like i said big changes coming up um i guess we'll leave that for the next video